In this video, I would like to show you how to utilize all the time-saving features and benefits of your endodontist's website who uses TDO software. The first step is to contact your endodontist and get your HIPAA compliant user ID and password for their website. Once you have that information, I'm going to create a shortcut on my desktop to make it faster and easier to get to this endodontist website. This is the web address. I'm going to name it and here it is on my desktop. So when I need to log into their website, simply double click. It opens up the internet browser to this endodontist website. You're going to want to go to the referring doctor login section. Now based on the endodontist, this button might be in a different place, but it should be easy to locate on the main page. Once the screen comes up for login, enter the HIPAA compliant user ID and password that was given to you. Enter a simple math answer and click the login button. Once logged into the website, this is your referring doctor's area. From here, you can view information on your patients, reports, you may refer a new patient or another tooth on an existing patient. You can chat with the endodontic office. You can also edit your information as well as log out. Let's first go through the chat. I'm going to click the chat button here on this top ribbon bar. This is going to open up a window and show me everybody who's logged in and available to chat with at this endodontic office. Currently, there is only one staff member available, but you may see the front office, the office manager, as well as even all of the doctors available. To start a chat session, simply double click on the name you wish to chat with and a window will come up and you can type a note. This is instant communication with this endodontic office. This is great for the busy office where you don't really have the time or the convenience to pick up the phone, but you want to find out availability on squeezing a patient in or any information from this office on your patients. You don't have to close this window. You can leave it up all day long if you like. Great communication feature with the endodontic office through their website. Now I'd like to show you how to refer a patient. You will see the refer patient option here on the top ribbon bar. I'm going to refer a new patient. Enter the first and last name. You can select which treating doctor at that endodontic office you wish this patient to be seen by or first available. You need to enter first and last name However, if you wish, you can also enter birth date, patient address, email and phone information, insurance information. The next section that shows up is which teeth you wish the endodontic to, endodontist to look at. You can enter a tooth needing treatment or evaluation or any combination of the two. Once a tooth is selected, an additional window shows up here where you can select an image to go along with this referral. Any image or x-ray you attach here will go directly to the endodontist and available for them to review and have directly in their software. You may also select if the patient will call or if you wish the endodontist office to call the patient. Any special considerations and then also any additional notes you wish to forward. Once you hit the submit button, that information is instantly transferred to the endodontic office. 
if you wish to refer an existing patient for another tooth, select that option, pick the patient, and then select which case you wish to send for. You may upload an image for this case as well. And then some of the other options are mostly the same as the previous page. Hit Submit, and the information is instantly transferred back to the endodontic office. Let's now look at information on patients you've referred to this office. I'm going to click on Patient Info, and I'm going to start typing the last name of the patient I wish to view. I start typing, and I click Search. All patients you've referred that meet that criteria will come up. This is the patient I wish to view. I'm going to click the Open folder to view details on this patient. When this comes up, the first thing I see are all reports that had been sent to me from this endodontic office. Now, I would have received these reports already. However, from here, I can open any of these reports and save a copy or print an additional copy if necessary. This is a great feature to have. From here, again, I can save or print. Right. Going back to the website, from here I can select a case. Once I select a case, the final report information from that case shows up here along with the images for that particular case. I can view more images from this case by clicking the link here or by going to images on the top. If I wish to view one of these images from here bigger, I click on it. It opens it expanded. I can right click, save picture as, and put it on my local computer. I can also copy the image and paste it directly into another practice management software or any place that you like. You can also print the picture from here as well. If I wish to view another case, I simply click the drop-down box. This case is still undergoing treatment, and these other ones are completed. And the page will update with the information for the case I selected. Other information available for the patient are prescription history, notes, these are notes that the endodontist entered in their record and are shared with you that you can view from the website. A lot of notes available here. There's a great feature here at the bottom of the note section where you can send a note back to the endodontist. If you type a note in here and click send note, this will be automatically forwarded back to the endodontist. You can view recall notes for this case as well as other images for this case. Again, just like I showed you previously, on any image you can click to enlarge it. Once it's enlarged, you can right click, save the picture, print the picture, or copy the picture. A lot of options available to you for ease of use with images from the endodontist. The Reports button at the top brings up some great reports that are available to you at any time you wish to view them. These include patients who have been completed by this endodontist that need restorations or that need no other treatment. It also will show you all patients referred who have not yet been completed, ones that are still undergoing treatment, and those who have been referred but no appointment has yet to be made. You can also go to the My Info area to edit your contact information, and this will update it in the endodontist's information as well. When you're done viewing the website, you can log out. However, while you're working throughout the day, it's nice to stay logged in and have the ability to use the chat feature. I hope I've shown you many different ways that you can utilize your endodontist's website to make communication and sharing of information much more efficient.